everyone, I'm Lori Whitlock. Welcome to my YouTube channel today. I want to show you guys all these cute new dingbat fonts that I've been designing over the past few months and show you how to use them. Um, you're probably wondering what a dingbat font is. Well, basically, instead of typing out letters, like alphabetical letters, um, it will type out all these adorable little characters and phrases and word art um, in your software. So. Um, you can use these fonts in any software that you can type in, so it will work in Word, for instance, but it's particularly useful um, in a cutting software like Silhouette Studio or Sure Cuts A Lot, um, Cricut. So you can actually type these characters out and then use them as either a vinyl cut or maybe a printing cut. You can colorize the little pieces. And I wanted to show you how to do this. Right now I've got about 18 of these cute um, dingbat fonts in my portfolio. Um, if you go to shop.loriewhitlock.com and go to the font section and then down to dingbats, that'll take you right to all these cute dingbat fonts that you can buy them there. Or you can also visit the Silhouette Design Store and um, search for Lori Whitlock and Dingbats, and you can also get them all there. So either way, once you have them installed on your computer, there's a lot of fun things you can do with them. And I'd like to show you in Silhouette Studio um, what you can do so you get some ideas of all the fun creative projects you could make with these. They're a lot of fun because there's 26 characters in each font and they all coordinate and work well together so you can start using them to design and make your own little projects using coordinated pieces. So let's get started and I'll show you how to use them. So now that you're in Silhouette Studio, the first thing you need to do is go over here and use your type tool and I'm just going to put my cursor down and go ahead and type in the alphabet. And I actually had that in my pasteboard so I just pasted it in to save a little time. And then you double click the text and I'm just going to go and choose one of the fonts um, that is a dingbat font that I've uh, wanted to work with. So basically you can see when I do that it changes the letters A through Z into these cute characters. So uh, let's go over to the little fill window here and fill those with black so you can see them a little bit better. And I'm going to increase the size on those a little bit and we'll zoom in so you can take a little closer look. Let's shut that window. So you can see how cute these are. There's Farm Fresh, um, Home Sweet Farm, all these cute phrases. All of these can be cut and arranged in any way that you'd like. Um, like how cute this is. It has a little wheat sprig and then home is where your herd is and the wheat sprig. So you could use those for kind of a beginning and closing if you wanted to make your own little compilation of some sort. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this first icon right here and we'll just scale it up and this piece of art is ready to go. If you want to just go ahead and send that to cut in vinyl, it's already got cut lines. You would just send it to cut. It's all ready. So you get 26 cute designs that you can simply cut out of vinyl. Let me show you another cool thing that you could do. Um, we'll go ahead and type our alphabet back in again and I'm going to use a different font this time. We're going to use a school font. And I'm going to go ahead and just right click and ungroup these. And I'm going to use a couple of the characters here. I'm going to use thank you teacher. I'm going to use this little composition notebook. And I'm just going to delete everything else off my page for now. I'm just going to select those and make them bigger so we can work with them. And everything should be um, grouped and everything right now. If I were to fill these, it would just fill them with black here. You can see what they look like. But say I want to take this little composition notebook and turn it into a little print and cut and make a tag for a teacher. So I'm just going to take that and right click it and we're going to release the compound path and I'm going to select and it's kind of hard to see here but I'm going to select this inside piece right here and just colorize that say maybe uh, yellow and then we'll take them in a part of our label here, the inner part of the label, and colorize that white. And you can see how we can create a little colored graphic that we could use as a print and cut. We'll take the little thank you teacher and put it right here on the label. And you can even get a little more creative by taking that yellow portion and going over to your fill palette here and even choosing a pattern. Look how cute that is. 
Another thing you can do is just select everything and let's group it so we don't move anything out of place. You can go over to your offset um, panel and we'll offset that and you can choose your distance of course so maybe something like this and we can actually send this to print and then cut to create a little tag for a teacher. So that's another fun way to use these um, fonts. I think there's just so many applications. Um, they're all little coordinating sets of um, characters so that it'll make designing for you a little bit easier. So I hope you have fun getting creative with these. One other thing I'd like to point out while we're here is if you're running the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition 4.1 or newer, um, you'll have access to the new Glyphs palette. If you'll click on the text style panel over on the right and click on the second icon here on the top, um, it'll bring up this Glyphs palette and you can type in any font. So let's do LW Mason jar dingbats and it'll bring up um, the full set of glyphs included in this font so you can see them before you type them in which is kind of nice so if you'll click on one of those that you want to bring in it'll actually type it up here in the upper left hand corner for you and when you double click that it will give you your little handles here and you can change the size um, and start working that with that font and or well, I'm sorry with that character and create a project with it. So again, you could use it to cut the vinyl or colorize it and make a print and cut. Um, heat transfer would be awesome too. So I really hope you have fun using these cool dingbat fonts and that you can get creative with them. Have a great day and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.